What's up guys, and welcome to Simple Review, the series where I, Pepper Homie, briefly play a game, review it, and I keep it simple. Let's get into it. Outriders is a third person looter shooter. When you play this game, you just have the option of playing through the main story. And in the main story of this game, you're actually able to do missions, side missions, do free roam, and your friends are actually able to drop in and out whenever, and you guys are able to experience what the game all has to offer, all at the same time. Now once you guys get into this game, you have the options of choosing between four classes. You have the Technomancer, which specializes in long range support, or the Pyromancer, which specializes in medium range fire, or the Trickster, who's more of a close range character, and the Devastator, which is more of a close range tank. In this review, I actually just played as a Technomancer because I like to snipe and that's the experience that I wanted. Overall, in my experience when playing this game, the combat felt amazing. Everything was very smooth, the weapons are very reactive when you're shooting them, the feedback when shooting enemies felt very nice, and the abilities and aiming just felt right. Now, as a support character, I kind of expected to not have as much fun as the other classes, but to my surprise, my abilities were very flashy, they were very strong, and I was able to give very good crowd control. So basically, no matter what style of gameplay you want to play, you're definitely going to benefit and feel badass while doing it. Each character does have a very extensive skill tree, so even if you do choose a supportive role, you can kind of go down a different route in the skill tree to kind of aid to your playstyle that you're wanting to do. I personally wanted to do a lot of sniper damage, and just briefly looking at the skill tree, I definitely see a path where that would be something I could do. Now, when it comes to loot, I didn't really experience too diverse loot while I was playing the game. This could just be because I was in the demo, but I was able to find the same items over and over again, but with better stats. I was never really bombarded with loot, and the pacing of when I did get the loot felt very appropriate to the enemy difficulty. And this game offers pretty much what you would expect from a loot style game. You can sell all of your loot, you can dismantle your loot for resources, there's rarity to the loot, and you can compare loot stats. All of this was very understandable and very accessible when you just got into the game. There was not overwhelming amounts of information. This game even offers challenges to do that unlock cosmetics for your character. There was a good amount of challenges, so if you like grindy style content, they got that for you. Now, if you're someone that enjoys cinematics and a story to the game, uh, I felt that the story was kind of lacking, and the cinematics definitely were very rough around the edges. Now, with all that said, I'd have to give this demo 9 pepperonis out of 10. This looter shooter definitely has potential, uh, and definitely meets the expectations I would hope for in a looter shooter, but the cinematics, I feel, won't really appeal to those people looking for a very story-driven and very well-done art design in the cinematics. So if you guys like the content, uh, drop a sub, drop a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.